am anderen. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, were we supposed to go to see Garrus, I believe? Because we checked. Yeah, because we talked to um, James. So we're ready to go. Commander. Commander. Oh, she has something to say to me? Alright. <clears throat> then fuck her. So, uh, let's... Let's fucking do it, honey. Alright, clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy Stealth Drive. Search each cluster for survivors, salvage pick. Okay, I, I remember. I barely am remembering how to do this. I do remember using this pisses them off. I just bring the Normandy right here. There's nothing actually out here, is there? Okay. Um, I do want to get the Turian Primark because I want to get Karis. <coughs> That's my main objective here. Hey, Legend. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> Very many moms in chat. We're just scanning systems. Uh, the Reapers are capturing us right now, or like for us. So basically, the T is to scan as little as possible <laughs> and pray that God we don't get clapped. There's Palavan, but there is no scanning anymore, so. Let's go, uh, let's go get Garrus. <coughs> mm. That's right. We don't have, what's his name's dumbass? Caden. We have Liara and James, which honestly is a fine squad for me. I think one of the games I'd only use Liara and James for the whole thing. I was romancing Liara and then just had James. Uh, why do I not have an assault rifle anymore? I guess I'll use the Vindicator. Is there no weapon mods for that? That's sad. I'm still, I need to buy mods really bad. This is a pistol, but maybe I should go with the submachine gun. I like that better. I'll do submachine gun. Oh, and we have mods for submachine gun. Uh, we're gonna get, okay, James is with that, that's fine. We're gonna give him that one though. And we're gonna give Liara. Alright, can we give her weapon mods too? Okay, I'm ready. It's for real out here.
So this is like a full scale war. The Reapers are attacking basically every planet. Like these are the Reapers attacking the Turian home world, like the Asaris and everything. Like so, it's become it's become full scale at this point, ladies and gentlemen. And the fucking space battles look awesome for the CGI. Like I love these. If you do have a chance to sneak a peek, it's like constant really cool battles. And like these are the Turian ships, so all the ships always look different. So these are the Turian ships fighting the Reaper ships. Reaper ships always look the same. Mass Effect 3 is by far the greatest cutscenes. Oh my god, it's like watching a movie. So we just warped between the battle because we were like, we're not going to fight through that to skip to the moon because the Primarch, which is like the leader of the Turians, is chilling on the moon. And we finna get him. But what we doubt now, I believe, is that Garrus is there too. And that's when we recruit Garrus. Oh no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Hmm. Shepard. I'm so sorry. I don't think Asari... I don't think they got the Asari homeworld yet. They're definitely Man, fucking up the, the, uh, the Turians, though. James, open that hatch. Alright, listen, it's time to help our bros. What am I using? Oh. I should use my other gun. Get in, get out. Let's move. I'm looking for loot in all the wrong places. Is that Garrus? Soldier, which way to your commanding officer? Straight ahead around the corner, past first barricade. Got you. Can I go up here? Oh, I can. That Reaper is enormous. Holy it's shit! Bigger ones on Earth. Yeah, that's a big up. boy. Got it. It's a thick one, y'all. We hit level 33. Uh, ground report. Knowledge of the terrain is our only uh, advantage here, and that's not going to last forever if they keep throwing the air, uh, their forces at us. <clears throat> we'll hold this area as long as we can. I'm linking my transponder to life signal the monitoring system of the suit unit suits. If it goes out, send another unit here ASAP. Oh. This game is so much fun. It really is. Again. Tabestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. No. Uh -oh. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Oh! His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. Why would it try to leave? I was coming to get him. Okay, things. God damn it, you guys. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I don't know why they would try I'm to sorry. leave like that. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. 
General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. Everybody's dying. However, no, it's for real. Everybody's moment, dying. Contacting them is impossible. The comms Just like full-on genocide. Like millions of people probably died already. Swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't the final battle is on I'll Earth, and it's crazy cool. Thank Would you think the final battle will be on I'll something like Ilium? Because Earth should have been fucked at this point. Like, right, I feel like the first go. to get hit. I see the comm tower. To the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go! Thank you, Liara, for your insight onto everything that is life. Alright, listen, we're gonna go back this way, Bull. I feel I feel happier with this uh, right here. Uh, from Commander Hexnar, re supplies. They sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to our power, uh, converted power our com to power our combat gears, filtering units instead at least. It'll be nice not having those clogging up anymore. Damn, they're, send they they're sending anything they can at this point because, like, everybody's just fucked right now. They're like, uh, we have winter gear we can send. You don't want me to go there? I thought at some point I'd shoot that gun. I guess I don't shoot that gun. Uh. Alright, let's go. I'll never not know the sound of a Reaper fucking laser every fucking time. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Pal. I love him so much. <laughs> I just love his attitude. He's so fucking like positive about everything too. He's like, hell yeah, let's fucking shoot dance. Hell yeah. General, do you read? Com tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palavan Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard out. Fly. Go, girl. Commander Shepard, come in. Yes, it's me. Please return ASAP. On our way. I just wanted to get Garrus, so and now I can't even fucking get Garrus. Immediately, I want my whole squad. Get a Garrus and Javik and Tali and the motherfuckers. Oh. 
Should I give him the skimmer? Skimmer, skimmer, turd? Hell yeah, I should. I saw a rifle piercing mod. What the fuck? What's the T says? Did they want me to go a specific way? Oh, well. I, I didn't see a dialogue thing when I got close, I just see so that's it. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. Oh. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Oh. Garrus is at ease, General. Aww. I'm hard to kill. He it's held her bad. hand so sweetly. He only holds her hand sweetly like See that if they were romancing, I'm just saying. This gets really cheesy with the romance, but I like if it. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. Yes! The squad! General Corinthus filled me in. We know. Who I did Liara right. and Garrus the whole time in the Alvin first Command uh, tells me that the next Primarch aspect. is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Duh. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris during the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy. But Damn, Victus is a bad bitch too. Up the meritocracy. But you have to be a Prime robot Victus. in order to, you that know, go up that assembly legacy. line. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot, and I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander, Shepard, come in. Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. Um, why would Joker just... Situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down... Oh, Edie's taking no control place. of the robot body. It's fine. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Uh, I didn't yeah, get a choice to send Liar. Okay. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming harvester. Ooh, fuck. That's a big ass bitch. Shoot it right in the toe. Now that we have Garrus, it's fine. General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Oh! The dialogue's so different. I, 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 the one thing I do remember is all the dialogue. So like, I know a dialogue is different when you romance people versus how it sounds when you're not romancing them. And everything is different when you romance them. It's so sweet. It's so cute. Okay. Time to merge. Oh, this is the first time we're seeing Marauders. Yeah, these are Turian Reapers. Jesus. 
this. What up, Panda? I heard it was your birthday. I hope you had a happy birthday. I think we're done here. Are we done here? Congrats on turning 28, I think. I'm not very good at remembering things, you know. <clears throat> it's early, I'm dying. Shepard, come in. Let me in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. I'm older than you, Stinky. <laughs> Blah, 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 I'm in the ghetto. Ra -da 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 -da. There's a phone ringing. Good luck like ever getting an answer a phone call. Like literally ever. I look early 20s. I've looked 17 since I've been 17. So it's fine. I'm I'm older than you. No, I come off way younger though. But I have like, in person I don't because I have these pure white, pure white hairs that I've had since the day I turned 18. It is insane. So you know, just keep guessing. Bitch, I'll be the hottest 30 year old chick you ever fucking seen. Oh, fuck. That's a brute. I'm about to fight. We're about to fight, honey. Let's kill it. Heal you. It gets blown up when you just. Okay. Oh, hey, friend. Damn, I just slapped that thing in the face. What's the word of the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepherd out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. All right, let's fucking do it, Hini. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Oh, we're gonna find trouble, baby. We're gonna fucking do it. Slide down this shit. I'm about to slide in. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> Damn it. Look at Paladin. Oh my god. The, orange, the big one. That's where I was born. Oh, that's, that's Garrus's hometown. Look at that big giant. You can see it from space. My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. Yeah. How's your military hold They've already lost five million people. The second day. Are you putting up a good fight? Or is it three million plus five million consecutively? Before the fight's kicked out. If they'd only listen to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. I know. I know, Garrus. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. What do you mean, maybe? Bruh. We could have... I'm so triggered. Shepard's like, I'm a roll, I'm a dive. More back here. Don't flank me. How dare? Can you believe that shit? Tried to flank me for real, you guys. I made meatloaf last night. I made a three pound meatloaf because I'm a psycho and I need to use my meat. And it was good. And now I'm gonna make it into sandwiches. Soldier, you okay? 
Yes, sir. We'll make it. Do you call me a sir? General Pictus. Half hour ago. Headed south. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. They called him a sir and me a sir. I mean, I guess that's, I guess that's fair. Oh! oh! You just watched someone die, Garris. So Lola, you really think this summit will work? I mean, the sorry, Solarians? Yes, it Where's will the work. Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. The yeah, because remember we shut down that. We right. shut down that um, them. thing, so, so we pulled people. we pulled that like moon into the uh, the Mass so Effect relay at the Batarian homeworld member in Mass Effect Two. So we had to sacrifice like a whole entire Batarian homeworld, but that stopped the Reapers from invading like a few months at least, which is good because if this happened months earlier, we've been really fucked. So you think about that the next time. <laughs> Go, 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 go. I have this pulsating pain in my lower back and I just wish it would go away. Like, and it's not even happening all the time. It's just okay, like, right now it's happening and it's just like a no boom, reapers boom, taking this boom, and then it goes away. Me. But it's like my whole lower back. Clear the can. <sighs> Go, 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 go. Face of the nearest. Oh, 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 oh. I'm getting the loot, babes. Getting the fucking loot. Relax your fat tits. You'd be getting the loot too if you was me. Ugh. I see what's going on now. Uh uh, honey. A Reaper Blaster? Oh, I done Reaper Blasted them all the way to hell, baby. Like, I mean, damn, we Reaper Blasted them, you know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. Tide is turning. We're winning this bitch. Did we do it? General Victus? Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Uh, Commander, I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. The Carrion, where did you go? Well, what, Reaper, you know, we came out here to get the Primarch, but he died. Exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. Your exact words were, get that thing the General, hell off my men. off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Hell yeah. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You need it immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. Uh, he's like, well, okay, that's pretty important. He's tall as hell. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. Same girl. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy. And I 
might piss people off. Oh my god, same. My I exist if people get real salty about it. War. war is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. Yeah, like George Washington like was a good president right. when you needed him. And you honestly, know, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing that. the Reapers. We need a job. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for He's like the George Washington of the I need the kind of. <laughs> Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Bet. Go, go kiss your men on the cheeks goodbye. Go tuck them. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? No. Mm -hmm. Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah. I don't know, Garrus. I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Mm. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Prime Mark Victus? One thing. What? Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. Rude. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan. That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Imagine if you Get hadn't genophaged the Krogan. Us, hmm. And then we can help you. Hmm, indeed. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. The Krogan like to fight, and they have like 18 hearts. They can get shot and like live and be fine. They're like, oh, you shot my heart, I have 13 more. I have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Sumerian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. I know. Time to grow up. But any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking This at bitch our wouldn't door. even be alive this if it wasn't for me. This my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. <laughs> I wish you luck. Bro, they got so many hearts, Come Vanilla. On. They got so many. They have like four ball sacks, too. On, they call it their quad. For real. I don't want to talk to Admiral Hack. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Hank. Yeah. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They have like more than one lung, and they have a special immune system that makes them like not be able to get sick. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us too. I see. Well then you. And when they get shot in one heart, their body goes into overdrive and they go into a blood rage. Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Archer Station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Soul System. Earth didn't stay. I know. Co COVID would never. Co COVID who? Was a good call. My immune system and 18 hearts could smack you. Well, that's if you, like, lose a heart. Like, if you get shot in combat and you lose a heart, you go into a blood rate, which is kind of good because it's like adrenaline, you know? But it's like super omega adrenaline. Devastating military defeat in human history. I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. It's not your fault that an ancient alien species was coming to fuck our ass up. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? I'd take the blood rage. If someone shot one of my hearts, I'd want to be angry and smack them for that. I'd be like, wow, I only have four of these. They just go to the doctor, I think. That's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. I'm buying us time, so keep at it. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The hour appears to be right. 
It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. It's a big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me, but the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. That was dumb as fuck, and that's true, by the way. Okay, they straight up thought that if they lit the atomic bomb, it would light up the atmosphere and cause like a chain explosion that would just blew up the atmosphere, like all the oxygen, everything, thus ending all life on Earth. But they blew that some bitch up anyways. Humans are fucking psycho, okay? Like, think about the first humans that were walking around and testing out, like, mushrooms and shit. They're like, hmm, well, this one killed Dave last time, so we're not gonna try this one. Who wants to try this one? Oh, I guess I'll do it. And then they got, like, the one mushroom that got them fucked up, and they're like, holy shit, I'm talking to Jesus. Literally, that's how Jesus then got created. <laughs> Humans are some crazy son of a bitch. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm glad that I'm chilling here. I'm a, I'm a scared noodle human. I just like to be. I like to be warm and comfy and full. You seem to think that's how we win this. It's wrong. Dead reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing. It's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. All right. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Peace out, hack it. The true, the true G. <laughs> Nothing to say to me? Does anybody want to talk? Oh, I got text, let's see. Oh my god. Lol. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. Gara said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Oh my god. This sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. Because she's a bitch. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. I mean, five million Turians already dead, that and that was like on day two. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I mean, how do you even like continue one reading one those reports? Because I mean, at that point, like, the last soul. sorry, they just become a number, you know? Like, I you can't just read a million different Leaving people's like. You, that would be like your life. You would just do that forever. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. Yeah. You never asked to be a leader. Yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. Grant me the strength! How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. How is that even a tactic? The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. Yeah, that's rough. My civilization. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavin. And thoughts and prayers. Earth. I think you just get the full war effort. This, I don't think they're gonna make me do multiplayer. I still haven't even checked if I can do multiplayer. Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. God damn it.
Edie, what are you fucking doing? Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Whatever's happening, it's taken Edie offline. There's too many things. There was too many. There was too many. Okay, we're going to the AI core. All right, let's go to the AI core. Gotta go get Edie, because she's now a robot. Is everything okay? That's what I'm gonna find out. She's like, what the fuck? Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire, or something. I'm going in. Edie-chan. Edie, talk to me. Is he just spraying me with it? Stop, with her little heels. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. She says, I am now a bad bitch. Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me. But I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. She did on her own. Transition. She's like, I want a body. I want to be a human. Locked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately. I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. As she saw, she's process, literally a god. It struggled. Thus it fired. struggled. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. <laughs> Edie. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Hell yeah. Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any She's not really a mech. She's like a it's like when a human body. You can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. It was shooting at, at us. Excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. J J yeah, but for different. On that we can agree. <laughs> she said, "Yeah, Joker's gonna want to see it because it has titties." I love that. I love that for you, Joker. Chalk was. Was that Edie who just walked by? Yes, it was. And Joker is going to have a field day with this. Oh boy. Oh, Joker. All I wanted was the space hamster, y'all. I never could get it. I don't know where it is. I, I thought it was on the ship. Two of our dreadnoughts have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's her. It's me. She's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. I mean, the Krogan sure will die without does. us. Garrus, didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, Ooh. I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Can't argue with that. Yeah, 
So, is this the part where we shake hands? Wasn't sure about the protocol on reunions, or if you even still felt the same way about me. The scars are starting to fade. I remember they drove you wild. <laughs> But I can go out and get all new ones, if it'll help. I haven't forgotten our time together. Well, I've been doing some more research on human customs. I didn't want... Damn, she shut him up by kissing him. That's the protocol on reunions. The vids mentioned it might go something like that. I had hoped it would. I mean, I didn't know... No. I can't promise how things will work out. Not with this war. But I missed you, Garrus. I thought about you a lot. Glad to know my romantic um, <clears throat> skills made an impression. Because it's going to take more than Reapers to come between this cross species liaison. <laughs> Aww. Speaking of which, you said you're the expert advisor on Reapers now? It's not as impressive as it sounds. I ruffled some feathers, so they gave me a token title, along with a token task force, so I'd shut up. <laughs> How'd you manage that? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough, and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Isn't that Not true? I could say some shit, but I ain't saying shit. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember. We're in this together. Mm -hmm. And if it ends with both of us dying in a giant explosion taking out a reaper, remember I took the kill shot. <laughs> Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister He's like, I killed the reaper. How long has it been since you heard from her? Long enough to be worried. Oh, no. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Yeah. What about you? Any word from your family? My mother's in the Alliance. Getting old, Shepard's like only 29 or 30. What? Okay. I'm sure she's okay. I think Shepard's mom is okay. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. Hey, Robbie, what's up? Go and see I'm just relaxing, playing some Mass Effect. Of I'm in a pretty good Instead mood this morning. I did the dishes, you know, just hung out. Are going to be begging you to Smoked the bowl. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I'm going to make some meatloaf sandwiches for lunch. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. You should save everybody. War, that's not going to happen. Mm. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out for all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. Ooh. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the touring. I appreciate government. it, even if it's my just the lurk. The I hope you can get to sleep. Of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the collector base. It sucks Not when you can't sleep. I, I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy. Meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. <laughs> the Reapers were coming. So I smoked. I did take some Benadryl to sleep last night because I wasn't really tired. But that shit knocked me out. Like, I could not wake up until 9 o'clock. I was like, Except But I feel so refreshed. Convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. 
And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. <laughs> What'd you do with him? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. And if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Uh, Garrus Let's is like, bruh. go there. Why not? I've seen you in action. Think about it. Primark the Carrion. It's cool. I don't. I don't. It doesn't make me mad or nothing. I just chilling, you know, living my best life. Your confidence is inspiring, but it'll have to be someone who knows how to hold the hammer. On Friday, I'm gonna finally do my horror stream where I play by myself for my sub goal. So, y'all make sure to come around for that. That's all for now, Garrus. Watch me shit myself while playing Dead Space. Got some up to do. Oh. Do you know where to find me? And this time, I can afford the good stuff. There are a few perks to being an expert. Damn, he just pulled out a bottle of wine immediately, bro. Let's get drunk. Damn. Very many chomps now, in I'm chat. Sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. <laughs> That was a cute cutscene. It's always cute. Where is Space Hamster, you guys? Good to be back on board, Shepard. It's nice to see Leora again. I actually missed this place. Somehow, I always knew I'd see the Normandy again. Maybe later. All right. That we exhausted the dialogue options. Now we're gonna go over here and live our little best life. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Liara. I'm just gathering some thoughts. All right. Liara, you can't just play psychologist. We'll be fine. Uh, never because Liara ain't touching Garrus <laughs> or Shepard because she ain't, she ain't getting romances played through. Liara ain't shit. It's alright. She lives to be a thousand. She can be a thousand years old. She'll be fine. Something on your mind? Just old memories. What's wrong, Liara? I spent a few weeks on Palavin South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains. Very, very young for Asari. Like, a... Uh if you're like mid 20s, the equivalent of that for Asari is like 130 years old. Okay, so when she says young, she means like 19. Feel free to look around. Feel free to look around. Oh, you don't have shit to say that. Right, fuck you. Greetings, Commander. Liara doesn't love me. You don't love me. Oh, this stupid bitch. The fucking Allers chick or whatever. She's gonna say dumb shit to me. That's because all Shepard does is run all day long. I have to ask, do all war reporters look so, um, feminine? I mean, you made up so well. We actually have a research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, pay more attention. Salarians relate to high pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. Yeah! They're the creepiest fan mail. Uzmek was that. She has got some curves. Don't you do talk need about. To talk, Commander? Don't you talk. Not right now. Let me know when we do. Oh my god, she dare talk about our friend 
and our BFF Edie like that, don't you look at her like that. I want my space hamster, and I want my space hamster now. All I've ever wanted was space hamster, you guys. Why is this becoming a big deal? Why isn't it here? I swore on my life I thought it was here. Um, the search for the space hamster. I have to scratch my bag. I'm dying. Okay. That was not. That was not the tea. You. Commander. Commander. Uh, nothing. All right. Fuck these nerds then. We're leaving. We'll go hang out with our friends in the shuttle bay. I'm looking at my fucking. What is this? Weapon damage? Okay. Fine. Oh, the puppo. Good dog. Yes, good dog indeed. All right, where's James? Let's talk. That Primark's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I love the way he talks. He's such a dumbass. Let's see. Where is... Where the fuck is Cortez? Why is he not talking to me? Talk to me! Is this him? Ma'am. Ma'am. Uh, nobody wants to fucking talk. The worst. I need some serious dough. I need to get the dough for the for the weapons. I have like three warriors. All right, I I like warriors. They're fun to play on WoW. I like their place. I just like leveling warriors a lot. It's nice. What? Are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. What do you want, trainer? Imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. Oh. One that was a little passive-aggressive. I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom, Academy Grissom is where we sent um, uh, the guy from Project Overlord. Remember the one that had autism that they like They're took advantage of him because he could talk to the... Uh, antibiotics. If it had been right? Isn't that then, it? I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of them Yeah, Archer, there we go. Support. That might be why they stayed. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship. What do you Lost mean? Where else? In any um, event, what? whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated, but I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. All right, we'll help these motherfuckers. Maybe you belong here after all. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Oh God, I hate her characters. Insufferable. Commander. All right, we did it. We talked to her. No, I'm just talking about the game. Okay. 
there's there's Edie. Hey Commander, check out my co-pilot. So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Bro, Look Joker is such a fucking perv. I would have made the cake. Oh my god. I am right here, Jeff. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Ew, oh my god. Jeff, please, Joker, chill. It's gonna be okay. I wanna talk to Edie. Thank you. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. Damn. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. If I could accompany you sometime. Yes, yes. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment... She's the lesbian. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> She's the lesbian character! That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. Joker. I'll be over here, flying the ship. Oh my god. He made he made Edie upset. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Dude. Shepard, like, why would they give her, like, the biggest honk a donk in titties ever? Like, she has, like, my size titties. So funny. Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. That's where she keeps all the bullets for her weapon and her titties. That I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. Edie's a person. Edie is a person. In a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is Apollo, time, get down. Will you answer them for me? Get down. If you think hey. it'll help. Boop, do boop, 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 boop. Get Very down. Well. Lay down. No, don't be stinky. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Apollo. Lay down. Like, you can't exist outside. Apollo. What is it? It's just the old... It's our neighbor sitting outside. You Seriously? Come on. Apollo. It's gonna be okay. Oh, yeah. Junior. He's very upset, you guys. He's like, they're outside playing. I'm not outside playing. This is very yeah, stinky for Paulo. Uh, goodbye. Go be angry, Paulo. Go be angry all on your own. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Go be angry your own time. Yes, Shepard? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Yeah. Optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Ah. Oh, I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. She is a person. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. Whoa. Fine motor control from the he is white knighting hard. Than standard He's like, don't talk shit about my it robot girlfriend. <laughs> me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own. <laughs> Talking mad shit the to his robot girlfriend. I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Aww. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. 
the crew are approaching this platform. They do end up together, Robbie, Joker and Edie. It's really cute. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I like it. I didn't realize I don't care. I do not I love it. enjoy something as you do. But my programming contains priorities. Joker and Edie get into a relationship. It, it's adorable. I don't know if you hear what I was talking about before. I the organic crew that I like it. Um, but like, well, all this new basically, Edie talks about something at one point, and she's short. like, "I, only I have, I can open over a million tabs at once, and I have opened over a million tabs of human procreation to see what Joker likes." So this that bitch watched a million tabs. She watched more porn than any human ever could have like that, that's ever been created in like two seconds. It's the funniest shit ever. How did you and Joker make it out of dry dock to rescue us? Well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands. So they often brought him on board under guard. Uh, yes. Wait. You can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. Should have tossed him out the airlock. I'm just saying. She has a full capable body and like like if she wants to she could make it look totally human but she's choosing to look like a robot. Like she has individual strands of hair but she's fusing them to make them look like that basically. Carry on. So I mean I'm sure she has a puss, you, you know. More, this body will be and I'm sure she could provide her own lube. To seeing me on the bridge. Noted. I'm one a hundo on that. But yeah, her hair is like a million jillion individual strands that she could control individually. So she could just like go crazy Medusa with her hair. God damn it. Okay, let's go to our messages. Omega. Ar Aria wants us to see her in Omega. Admiral Hackett said there's an Alliance researcher on Citadel who wants to talk to us. Oh, Thane is contacting us. Caden's contacting us. Center block, Jonathan Bow, with special tactics for you And then oh, Arya wants me to meet her, meet her in Purgatory. Also, oh my God, there's so much. She controls her hair individually. I don't know what you want me to say about that, dude. That it's crazy. Come on, Dad. All right, let's save this. Here we are, though, still using fuel in 2022. I mean, she established oh, that she could. They got mad about that scan. It's just fuel. Oh my god, the Reapers are angry about me being here. What did we get? Oh, we found something, baby. Uh, we found the banner of the first regiment. All right, we got all the assets on this, so we're just gonna leave because there's very angry reapers here. Oh my goodness gracious. Relax. Oh, I've upset them. Oh, 
My mouse stopped working for like two seconds. And I freaked out. <laughs> I have to wait to get this because they're just gonna come every time. Okay, wait, I think I can. I think I can do it, I think I can do it. I think I can, I think I can. Check this shit out, I'm the greatest. Fuck, I can't click fast enough. Okay, hold on, I got this. <laughs> I believe, I believe, I believe. <laughs> they're like right next to where the things I need to spawn are. All right, I got the fuel. Now I just need to get the planet. Listen, if you're watching Mass Effect, you're going to hear a lot of this bullshit. I did it, you guys. I literally did it. So good at this game. Woo! We did it. We're good. We did it. We evaded him. Ah. Uh. That was very scary. My mouse is like, doesn't work sometimes, so it almost murdered me. <laughs> All right, getting the fuck out of here. Actually, let me see. I wanna see my quests. So these are all main ones. Are they? In recent years, the pro-human syndicate. I did not think that was gonna happen, and it scared me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, so these. Okay, we just don't do priorities, right? Yeah. So War Summit. Don't go to Eden Prime. Actually. Go to Eden Prime because I'm pretty sure that's where we get Javik. But other than that, whew, that was scary. All right, so we'll do all of this shit. Just don't do Eden Prime or Sirkash. Awesome. All right, we figured it out. I was touched by Jesus, baby. All right, so let's see. Ah, it is that time. It's almost twelve. I did my, my rare little morning stream. Uh, but I will be on again at 2 o'clock Eastern time. If you guys wouldn't show up, that's my main stream, so I'd appreciate that. Um, I have a you know YouTube, a Twitter. Twitter has a link tree to like all my other stuff you can check out. Uh, and I hope you guys have a good morning, and I hope to see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>